Lieutenant Commander Cordova here. Welcome to the 242nd Suicide Kings, pilot. I've heard from unofficial channels that the rebels have launched a surprise attack in the Epsilon Pegasi system. Details at this point are sketchy below file level clearance, and command is in no hurry to fill us in. Petrarch says he'll brief the Aquitaine when we reach Capella. The GTA formed the Suicide Kings in the Great War, when the old Valkyrie fighter went into service after the Shivan attack on Ross 128. The 242nd was stationed on the Galatea back then, and our first mission was the capture of Lieutenant Alexander McCarthy. We all studied the McCarthy trials in school, pilot. We are part of history here, though the Galatea is long gone, and the Valkyrie has since been retired. The Perseus is the next generation interceptor, the fastest fighter in the GTBA. Our primary combat role is charging bombers and chasing down warheads. We're also assigned to surgical strikes against bigger warships. We're not called the Suicide Kings for nothing, pilot. We earn that name on every mission. For that reason, I suggest you review the Perseus training modules as soon as possible. There you'll learn how to target bombs and turrets, and everything else you need to serve in an intercept squadron. You are now authorized to use the GTM 43A Stiletto II missile, designed to incapacitate subsystems. The 43A improves on the original Stiletto design by modifying its guidance systems and disruptor charge. The Stiletto also boasts a more powerful propulsion system, increasing its speed and effective range. Thirty-six hours ago, the NTF launched a full-scale offensive in Epsilon Pegasi, taking the GTVA 6th Fleet by surprise. Commanding his forces from the NTD Repulse, Rear Admiral Koth leads the Rebel advance. With 75% of our forces in this system decimated, the regional death toll since the incursion now exceeds 80,000. Unless we act quickly, a decisive Rebel victory is imminent. The GTD Aquitaine will lead the Allied counterstrike against Koth and his warships. We will resupply in Capella before shipping out to the front. We have also learned our campaign in Sirius has failed. Two-pronged defensive launched from Alpha Centauri and Deneb encountered fierce resistance. Unless we can devise a military solution for dealing with the rebels, GTVA will be forced to recognize the NTF's authority in Sirius, Regulus, and Polaris. Allied engineers, in the meantime, are developing and adapting technologies that will enable us to fight more effectively in the nebula. Dr. Hargrove and her research team continue to study the subspace portal. Their findings have been classified level five. Until the situation in Epsilon Pegasi has been normalized, the GTVA will suspend its operations in the nebula. This is Lieutenant Commander Cordova leader of the 242nd Suicide Kings. Welcome to Epsilon Pegasi, pilots. NF Station, the Alliance's base of operations in this system, is now under attack. Though we have destroyed the NTC outrage, the Cato continues to bombard the installation with heavy beam fire. Evacuation of civilian personnel on board NF Station is now in progress. As you know, Civilians are protected under the Beta Aquilae Convention, but the NTF has rejected that treaty and its provisions. Fortunately, most of the civilian convoy has jumped safely to the Capella Jump Node. Your mission is to defend NF Station. As leader of Alpha Wing, you will command your squad mates to destroy the fighters and warships besieging our installation. If the rebels sortie their Zeus bombers, Intercept the warheads before they impact the base. 
Allied forces are engaging the rebels throughout the system. As resources become available, they will be deployed to assist you. Until we get these reinforcements, however, holding down the fort is all up to you. This sortie will be the first combat field test of the Perseus Intercept Fighter. So let's put on a good show. Fighters, you are firing upon a civilian vessel. Break off your attack. Alpha, we need some fighter cover on the Calypso. Hold back the rebels so the civilians can escape. Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. This is the GTFR Calypso. We have cleared NF station. Now engaging subspace drive. This is NF station. We have sustained moderate damage. All breach levels have been sealed off. Engineering reports the situation is under control. More rebel bombers inbound. Seek and destroy. Well done. The NTC Cato has been destroyed. This is the Mannheim. We have set course for the Capella Jump Node. Activating jump drive now. All civilian transports depart safely. A new wing of bombers has jumped in. Request immediate fighter cover. Yes, sir. All yours, sir. Good luck.
Send it incoming! Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. I'm reading an incoming jump signature. Configuration unknown. Command, there's a massive warship now emerging from subspace. IFF status is friendly. Meet the Colossus, the largest spacefaring warship ever constructed. This is the GTVA Colossus. Fighters stand clear of hostile warships. All batteries, fire at will. We have defeated the Hawkwood. Return to base pilots. Mission accomplished. Colossus, maintain your current position. You will defend NF Station until relieved. Yes, sir. I'm out of here. In your courageous defense of NF Station, you are eyewitness to an historic moment. The first combat deployment of the GTVA Colossus. You and your wing also showed us what the Perseus Intercept fighter can do. Against overwhelming odds, you repelled an attack against a facility of the utmost strategic importance for the Alliance. The commander of NF Station personally extends his gratitude pilot. I can see you'll make a fine addition to the Suicide Kings. The Alliance has won battle after battle throughout the system, crushing the NTC Rapier, the NTC Explorer, and the NTD Normandy. These victories have stalled the Rebel advance, and now with the help of the Colossus, we will push them back into the Polaris system, securing Epsilon Pegasi once and for all. For demonstrating exceptional skill in combat, you are hereby awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. <laughs> <laughs>